Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been about a month of aim training now. I figured I'd give you guys an update. Thank you guys for all the support on the last few videos. We have progressed quite a bit, an overall 35% increase. I know I'm just jumping right into it, but it seems to be what you guys want. So that's what we're delivering. So what I did was I'm not actually working on the beginner program anymore. I'm on the beginner advanced. So you have the beginner beginner, the intermediate beginner, and then the beginner advanced. It goes in stages. The first two layers are 10 to 15 days on the aimer 7 program on Kovacs and then after that you move up to the next one and the next one so I'm not actually still doing the same routine but I decided for my 30th day I'd go back and uh, just kind of record so you guys can see it before and after uh, the control the uh, sporadic movement uh, has definitely increased um, definitely a lot better and overall my gameplays on Call of Duty have increased I played a little bit of Valorant here and there, not a big fan, uh, just never really played, haven't given it the time it deserves, so uh, mainly Call of Duty still, and obviously aim training. So we've put in about 50 hours this uh, last month or so, total of about 65 plus in general, and uh, it's overall progressing rather nicely. I did miss a few days here and there, so this is just a random day after work. I was a little bit tired, but as you can see, even on like a bad day or a semi-average day, my increase has jumped drastically. So we're going to look into that, enjoy the video guys, and uh, all right, so starting it off, we have the close long strafes. As you can tell on the left, that is my first week from the original video that I did. And on the right is from the other day, my 30th day, about 50 plus hours of training on here. Right off the bat, you can see that there's a huge increase on staying on target and killing these targets a lot faster. So in between each kill, you do have a second to reset, make sure your mouse is on there. I'm working on the invincible one right now, which has really helped me stay on target longer. And there is no time to reset so you really do need to stay on target a little bit longer so bouncing back to this is a huge increase it's a lot easier it's a little bit slower and overall my overall increase went from 4200 to 6975 which is a 66 percent increase overall my control on my strafing and my tracking movements has increased drastically like i said before there is a 35 percent increase across the board and it definitely reflects in my tracking Moving on to the next one, it's going to be the one wall, six targets TE. Uh, pretty simple. Right off the bat, you see my flicking movements are a lot more confident. I'm not really stopping to reset on each one. I'm moving to each one uh, almost subconsciously. I just look at the target and I move on to it. So the speed at which I'm flicking over to the targets is a lot more consistent. I'm not dragging my fingers as much. My pinky and my ring finger are off the mat now. Uh, so that definitely helps with the smoothness. I'm more confident and where my hand position is and how much I need to move the actual mouse. So on the left, you'll see I did an 86.05 average for that day. And on the right, I have an average of 104.47. That's a 21.4% increase, which definitely helps out when you're trying to do like a hardcore mode in Call of Duty or if you're flicking to the heads or you need to hit a smaller target. These type of drills are really effective in training in an FPS game. Bouncing on to the next one, we have the Fugla, which I still don't know how to pronounce properly, but overall, it's just a smaller target that moves around a little bit more. You'll see on the left side, that was my first week. It was a really lucky draw uh, where it doesn't move quite as much as the one on the right, but as you can tell, I'm staying on target better. I'm hitting it more often. And overall, my increase went from 218.6 average on that left side to a 338.2 average. Now, the average for this is only around 313 for the medium player. So my increase is drastic. I'm able to constantly hit above that median for this one. Like I said, it is a beginner movement, so that's expected. And I'm starting to move more into the intermediate level. So we're looking a lot smoother, a lot more comfortable in moving the mouse. I'm able to stay on target longer. There's not as much jumping. And overall, I'm feeling a lot more confident. 
So we're looking at a 54.7% increase throughout the month, which is huge, especially when you're trying to play a core game mode or you're using an SMG where you need to hit more shots. Moving on to the Tile Frenzy Strafing. So on the left here, you'll see it's actually rather similar, but that was on an extremely good day. My average on the left was a 45.81 for that first week, and my average on the right is 55.47. Now on this day, my flicking was not as good. My normal average is around 62.05, but on this right side, I kind of slowed down a little bit, just wanted to hit the targets and really just show uh, a more consistent target uh, acquisition. So that's an average of a 21 percent increase right now we have the vert long strafes uh, you guys saw this in the first and second videos not a huge fan of this one it is basic all you're doing is looking up really just dragging the mouse up and down in a more consistent motion i don't see it helping out too much in game but it is a fun little uh tracking movement it does help me go up and down a little bit better especially when i'm doing the tile frenzies so i do keep it in there just for that extra training we're looking at 8,668.8 is my average on the left side, with my right side being an average of 11,455.2, which is a 32% increase. Now, these are just averages. My actual high score has not changed that much on this one. Actually, I don't think I've hit what I hit on the left since, but overall, my consistency and my accuracy has increased dramatically. So we don't always go after the high scores. We are looking for that average overall. We do do this 10 minutes a day and it does reflect overall. Finally, we move on to one wall, one target, which is the last one. It definitely is a flicking drill. You need to recenter, hit the target, go to the next one and do it as fast as possible without missing as many targets. You are drastically penalized for missing a shot so we really do try and go for that accuracy on this one on the left our average was 68.92 and while on the right we had an average of 82.23 you can tell by the speed in which i'm flipping to it that i'm a heck of a lot more comfortable with really just bouncing over to the target without having to think twice about it you'll see a little bit of a stutter here and there i need to go back on the left a little bit i kind of slow down when i hit the target on the right, I'm really just hitting it and moving on to the next one. There's not really as much of that stutter step before I actually continue on. I don't have as many double shots. I don't have as many slowdowns. Overall, the confidence is there and it's just steadily increasing. The faster I go, the higher I go up in this training. There you have it guys, that's my one month progression. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, please drop a like, subscribe for my future updates. We do a lot of Call of Duty videos, got a couple montages in the work. We're working on that gold camo grind and we're gonna continue our Kovacs aim training, see if we could get to that elite level. And overall, we'll see exactly how far we can take this. Might start competing in gamebattles.com. We'll see where we're going with that. I know there's a CDL update coming pretty soon. We got December 10th things coming out and there's a lot going on so hopefully there's some good content coming out and i'll be excited to see what's going on thank you guys and i'll see you next time